Welcome back to our mine colony's heaven and hell playthrough, and you've got me here inside this village, just enslaving some of these idiots for some enchants. Is that an appropriate thing to say at the start of a video? But yes, as you can see, I have spent quite some time in this village just trapping some librarians who will then give me some decent enchants for my new diamond tools and weaponry. But these new enchants, as well as our diamond tools, have really come in handy actually, because our idiots across the way are starting to ask for a lot of resources, which is definitely taking its toll on my tools. So I'm really glad that I spent some time here in this little village setting up all of these librarians. Which most of the enchants that you can see here are just your standard Minecraft ones, apart from this last one here for Raider's Bane 2, which does seem to be a specific mine colony's only enchant, and I'm going to assume that this is going to allow us to do some more damage to any potential raiders. So I definitely think that enchant is going to come in rather handy whenever we do eventually get our raids, just because of how much we're expanding out our colony. But that's definitely enough noise from those idiots for now, so let's head back over to our quieter colony and just listen to the soothing sounds of our idiots over there. So last time in our colonies, we spent a lot of time just setting up the groundwork to be able to put in some new buildings, such as this house here. But as you can probably tell, we are still awaiting the construction of this house, as well as some of the other buildings that we set up around here too. But now thanks to our new enchanted tools, it's really not going to take much for us to get these resources. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time here picking up these resources, and then we'll get on with the builds. Which we're going to start off with by finishing this house build that we built for the guard's tower as well as the builder's hut. And I should mention as well that if we come into our guard's hut, we do not have a worker assigned anymore. The worker that we did have in there was Legacy, but unfortunately, a mob got him. So that just goes to show that he wasn't a very good guard. And I think our other guard's tower also doesn't have another guard in it either. I think that may have been Gabrielle, and she too was slaughtered to a mob. So it did go really well offline here, I'll have you know. So Ava is now away to complete this citizen's house, and everything there is really standard to do. So we'll get the oak stuff out, and we'll get this building up. So she now has everything for this build, so I'll let her get on with that. And our open requests, I can see that Pablo is requesting a pickaxe. So I can head over and give him that quickly. Actually, who is this? Joyce. What's your issue? You're wanting a restaurant. Well, yes, you're hungry, but you also don't have a job. So, no food until you get a job. Oh, uh, you know what? Just here, take some of this. I've got plenty of cooked pork chops in the nether. You people are so lucky. Hello Pablo, I can see that you're after some pickaxe. Oh god, now Joyce is following me. So, there you go, take some of these stone pickaxes. How are you getting on actually? Ah, uh, well, it's becoming night time so you might not be doing much. Although if I check inside his builder's hut, he has certainly been busy. He's even managed to find some diamond ore. Holy crap, well done Pablo. I really hope I do have it light enough around here now so that mobs won't spawn in and kill all of our guardsmen, but I'll follow Pablo here back up the hill and we'll see how he's getting on. Which we still haven't made any notes here at our very first one of mine level minus one, but I get the feeling that's maybe because we are too close to the surface here. However, as you can maybe just see down below at mine level one, we do have some mine shafts. So yes, he's definitely been quite busy down here and has finally made out a lot of these mine shafts just along the place and has been getting us all of these type of stone items. Although where did you find that diamond ore from though? Because I've got a fortune pickaxe and it would be better for me to go mine it. Well this is clearly where we're working at at the moment. Uh, he's probably going to request something. Yep, oak fences. Well that's fine, I can get him those. Right Pablo, here's oak fences for absolute days. You continue down there and keep doing a good job then son. Once you got them, on you go. Before I head over to hell and see how they're getting on, I'll come over and check on the progress of our citizen's hut. Which clearly isn't this one here. What citizen hut is she building? Well wherever it is, she's nearly done it actually. Where the hell have I placed huts? Oh, just there actually. Oh yeah, this is the farmer's house. Okay, cool. Well, here's a citizen's hut. Just about to be done. And that was it there actually. Just in time for me to take out my building tool and see that Drew's placing down his building alone has also expanded out our colony. And the inside of our citizen's hut at tier 1 is nothing too impressive. 
but I'm hoping to come into the house settings here and actually assign a citizen, which I may need to change a setting at our town hall first in order to do, so I'll head up there quickly. And in our town hall block, if I click on the settings part here, I can change our housing assignment mode from automatic to manual. So hopefully this will let me actually say who's going to go live in that house right beside the farm. Normally I would just keep that on automatic, but just to save people from complaining that it's too far away from their house to their place of employment, I probably will just have them all be assigned specific houses. And because this is only a tier 1 house, we can only assign one citizen, which we are going to make Joanna our farmer. So now at night, rather than going over to our tavern for a place to sleep, she should just go simply next door and sleep in her own house. And Ava has moved on to another citizen build, which is also fine, so I'll just set her up there and then we'll pop off to hell. Hello chaps, and oh good, Faith, uh, who must be a new builder, has gone to start work on a lumberjack. Well done chaps. But how are we getting on here actually? This is a tier 1 guard tower that we built here in hell last time. And I can see that Kazen has become our guard in it. And he's just simply looking for a sword, and our builder is looking for some basalt. Okay, I can set you up with that. And also Hoglands. I now have fire aspect on my weapons here, so this is just going to be even easier meat for me. Thank you very much. Tasty, tasty vengeance. Excuse me, sir, but as you can see, I am wearing gold, so what is this nonsense all about? Clearly, you just want to die, as does your pal. Well, it absolutely saves you guys from upsetting my colonists anyway, so the less of you around, the better. Well, I can't remember exactly where I put the lumberjack, but I've given her nearly 70% of everything she requires, and we're nearly 90% done, actually. Just some warped fences and some stems. I'll get those out very quickly, and then we'll go over and check that. Well, I've seen that she's actually running through that part there, so I'm guessing that's where I put the lumberjack. I'm very quickly, though, going to give Kaysen our golden sword that I've got. Take that. Right, so let's go check on the lumberjack then, which is going to be our very first lumberjack out of all of our colonies, and... Oh, Enderman. You be nice. I think he's going to be nice, but this is where I've got it placed clearly. And there's Kaysen dead. Awesome. Really glad I gave him that weapon. Hello Yuda. Have you taken up the job of a guard instead? Wanting a sword. I don't know if there's much point, chaps, because I think he's just dying into lava most of the time. Oh, you know what? Take this golden sword and take those golden boots as well. You never know. You may fare a little bit better out here, Yuda. Yoda, what the hell your name is. Or just sleep. That's probably the safer bet. Actually, I remember last time we were trying to get a tavern up and sorted here. Which, we did get the foundations for it right, but we just actually haven't built it yet. Whose grave is this? Oh, that's clearly where that last guard died whose name I've already forgotten. Okay, so we can come into the build options here, and we can build our tavern as well whilst we're at this. I'll be taking that, thanks very much. Oh, not Yoda, Yoda, somebody da. Oh, that's terrible. But at least another news, our lumberjack is nearly complete. So, silver lining and all that. And that's it done right there. So that is our lumberjack. So hopefully someone has taken the job of it. Elliot B. Cutter, which is a very nice name actually. I think that's him coming along now, and I'm guessing you're going to be shouting about an axe. Yes, you are. Okay then, son, we can get you established here then. Well, he also asked for a hoe there as well, so he now has an axe as well as a hoe, and I think we are heading out here to, to start chopping down some of these trees. I mean, I know he only has a worker level of 1, and his building tier is also only level 1, and he also has a stone axe. But this is just going to take absolutely forever, Elliot. Oh well, at least we have a lumberjack up and working now. Although I do need to quickly come in and check your settings, actually. Your saplings, this is everything that you should be planting. Yes, I could maybe get you some of these things, although I'm not sure if there would be any point. But this is the main settings here that I was looking for. So his replanting is on, and zoning mode that's off at the moment. 
but that's only because I've not specified a particular zone for him to go chop in. In the meantime, I see that our builder has moved on to our tavern, of which we are 40% supplied and have barely done anything to it yet. That's annoying, that's quite a lot of different beds that I'm going to need to get them. And our knights keep getting slaughtered, so let's go check that first. Is it you chaps that keep killing them, you absolute nasties? It probably is as well. Yes, this is quite a nice array of graves that we're going to get on this guard tower here. Okay. Well, oops, I can see our builder's getting hit. No, 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 they're important. So I was able to supply her with a couple of more items, but there's still a lot of beds, these nether sprouts, as well as nether rack and warped items that I'm going to need to get them. And if I remember right, these nether sprouts are something we're supposed to get here. In fact, yep, that's them there. And we pick them up with some shears, so I'll grab a couple of these. Hello, you. Goodbye, you. But the Lumberjack should be getting us our warped stem items, which... He doesn't have anything at the moment. Okay, the Enderman's dead. Stop off the noise. But whenever it does become day in the overworld and he does come back here, then he should start collecting some of these stems and that should then go towards our planks and such. But it's just really the beds that I need to worry about. So let's head back to heaven and make them there. And that was another citizen's house finished actually, uh, in fact I think it was that one there. So this is the one for our guard tower and the builder's hut actually. Well done Ava, I think you have just constructed your own house. Indeed she has actually, so there you go Ava, that should be assigned this house. And you're about to start work on the delivery man next. Excellent. I think that's a new child. It's another one of Ava's kids actually, so... Good luck to you. And I think that's all the beds that I require for the tavern in hell. So, Ava, what are you looking for? Ah, uh, just slabs actually. That's really easy to get. Take those, take some torches, and... Okay, actually, there's a lot of oak things here that you're going to require. But that's fine, I can get you those very quickly as well. And I've just realised as well that Gabrielle has already grown up and has become a guard. So they're looking for some items. And there's the rest of Ava stuff now. Okay, well, I'm going to be a bit busy here then. Fortunately for you though, Gabrielle, I picked up all of the items that Legacy dropped. So you can take all of his gear. And that's now off of my request system. Pablo wants a shovel. Of course he does. Well, we had a few new kids just born into our heaven colony there. But with the last one of Ainsley being born, we also got this rather ominous message. A new settler arrives at your colony and they bring word that barbarian spies have found a growing village. You might want to build a guard tower. So that is definitely the first signs that we might be getting a raid soon. Hopefully we're prepared though. But that is definitely not great. At least we have the wolves kicking about, but yes, I get the feeling that things might take a turn for the worse here. But Ava now has everything she requires to do the delivery man. I still need to deliver Pablo a shovel, but I think the delivery man hut is actually just over the hill here near the miner, so we'll go check up on the both of them. Hello Pablo, take your shovels and you get home of that then, son. And, oh yes, here's our delivery man hut here, or our courier's hut. That's definitely coming along pretty nicely here. Well, I think I'll just wait on this being completed, and then I'll just head straight back over to hell and deliver them their beds for the tavern. And that's our first delivery man hut now complete. And that is pretty awesome, actually, because if we did have a delivery man, that would mean that we would now be able to take items away from buildings and put them into our warehouse once it gets up and constructed. But unfortunately, we don't have any worker assigned for this yet. But that's okay, because like I said, we also still need the warehouse up and working first. No, oh, well, speaking of warehouse, actually, thank you very much, Ava. There are still no guards. We are working on it, Pablo. We are working on it. What are you wanting? More bloody pickaxes by the looks of it. Always, always bloody pickaxes. Eventually, I will get you guys some better tools and even enchant them similar to mine here, just so that they do stop breaking as much. Ah, uh, I do want to go to hell and check on the tavern, but just whilst you're here then, Ava, anything that I can do for you? Yep, there's actually a lot of things that I can do for you. I'll be back, Ava. 
hell comes first. This is the problem with having two colonies full of idiots that require your 100% attention at all times. So here's the beds that I had to give you, and yes, there's still a lot of netherrack and warped items that I need to get. Although our lumberjack should have collected us enough of these warped stems so far. What have you got for us? You've got 22 of them. Well, you know what? It's a start. Good job then, Elliot. Ryan is wanting a sword, and Faith is looking for some netherrack, as well as these warped stairs now. That's okay, we are slowly getting there, and we'll get this tavern up and running ASAP. In fact, we are already making a start here, so that's pretty nice. Although, why are you putting beds inside the nether? Actually, that is a point. Can you citizens use beds, or will that explode? Oh, this I definitely now need to see. And that is our tavern in hell now completed, so that's pretty awesome actually, because this means that our citizens here will now have a place to sleep, which I am desperate to see them do. And of course, because it's a tavern, we are going to get some visitors to hell as well. So there you go, that's even more bait for the piglins here. And actually, I think that's now all of the buildings that we had set for build here in hell. So I'm going to need to think of some more buildings to put down, which a mine would be helpful because then we could get some nether rack and maybe some housing as well, just to kind of protect our citizens. So I'm definitely going to need to scout out some suitable places to put these buildings. A miner in particular might be very, very handy here actually. All colonists are tucked into bed. Are they? Uh, yes they are actually, and they didn't explode. Well that is really disappointing actually, but at least they do now have a place to sleep, so I suppose that should kind of keep them a bit protected. Not much though. Mysterious warriors have been spotted northeast of heaven. Okay, well I was actually just getting ready to wrap up our episode today, but we've got some raiders, so let's go get everyone killed instead. Yep, there's the health bar at the top of this screen, so let's head to the northeast and see how many barbarians we're getting. Hopefully with all of the buildings that we do have around here, I was going to say that our colonists should tuck themselves into bed and be protected, especially those with houses. But if we do have any guards around, then I certainly wouldn't say no to the help. Where are these raiders? I really don't know where they're spawning in actually. I'm assuming it might be closer to our colony, but I'm not quite sure where they are. Oh no, hold on actually, there's a campfire just across the way, so I reckon they spawned somewhere around here actually. And the fact that there's no one around here maybe suggests that they've already headed towards our colony. Well, victory, having successfully defeated against the intruders, which I didn't even see once, so... Right, well done our guardsmen. That's our very first raid done and dusted by the way. That's really, really anticlimactic. Well, well done guys. Uh, Kian, I'm guessing it's you that maybe helped us there, as well as our other guardsmen across the way. Gabriel, I remember him. But well done guys, your very first raid handled by yourselves. And that's pretty awesome. Well, Ava is away working on her warehouse just now. Which, now that we have this delivery man set up, it means that next time, whenever we get the warehouse built, we'll actually be able to take some items from and to these buildings. So that would then pretty much be the automation process started for our colony. I think we've had a fairly productive day today. A lot of new buildings up, including a lot of new housing, and obviously the delivery man getting up is definitely going to help us out in the long term. There's Ava over there shouting about some items that she's going to require now. But we still got a long way to go. There's the guards tower that we're building here for our mine. And yes, I can see our warehouse starting to take some shape over here. So, I'm definitely happy leaving it here for today. And as always, if you have enjoyed this episode of Mine Colonies, then why not give the video a like? and subscribe to our channel as well, just to keep up to date with our progress here. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, and hopefully we'll get up this warehouse and really start getting things moving.